Cheers, and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, Martin Sitapant's recent live video, Committing War Crimes in World of Tanks. I enjoy World of Tanks videos, the ones that I've seen, um, and I enjoy Martin Sitapant's videos. They tend to be quite fun and chaotic. Um, I apologize in advance if I turn to the side to hack. Um, I am in the process of trying to expunge my lungs from my body and you know i just think they're extra weight and i don't really need them anymore so like i've i've evolved beyond the necessity to breathe so i'm trying to uh slowly hack my lungs out of my body because <coughs> i feel like it's less invasive than surgery so that being said let's begin hello again gents welcome hello to World of Tanks. Today I'll be going through all 10 ranks of tank at my disposal, and a secret specialty that I'll tell you about right at the end. Oh, and also they sponsored this video, so uh... World of Tanks is undoubtedly the greatest game ever, with over 400 unique and occasionally dubious tanks modeled to look like their real world you counterpart. You will have fun forever. So please, I implore you, scroll down to the link in the description and play World of Tanks today. Alright, let us begin. First up, Tier 1. Us... For the first battle, I picked the Stritzvang. Anything interesting that's Tier 1. Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking this. This looks dumb. I like that it looks like a little boot. <laughs> <coughs> it looks like a little a little boot. Like a little Christmas stocking. As fuck. A Swedish tank built after World War One, but actually designed by this German fellow right here at the end of the war. He also designed the K-Wagon, which looks like a chicken strip. Anyway, back to the strips. Hey. Back to the FM-21. How does a German tank designed for use in World War I get adopted by the Swedes post-war? Well, turns out the Swedes got a hold of the plan somehow and just ordered the parts for ten of them in secret by disguising them as agricultural equipment. Oh my god, okay. Sure. Oh yep, I picked it. I like that that's like just secret. Like it's like, it was after the war. Surely they could have just, you know, attempted to work out some kind of deal granted i guess they wouldn't maybe didn't want to but germany surely would have taken it because they were still they had to pay so many reparations surely that if someone had been like hey can we buy these from you they would have been pleased about that and done and you know you know if someone in the world had been treating them like people i don't know i don't know Let's not get off on wild speculations this early into the video. Still, I think that Germany would have accepted, like, Swedish money for this tank plan. Because it looks like a shoe. Okay, a shoe. let's go. Turns out tanks from World War One are pretty slow. So it took me about three years to make it to battle. I managed to get two solid, moist, wet kills before overextending and getting blown to smithereens. Well, that was not too bad. I got, I got, I got a few of them. My computer's gone. me. Alright, well, time for tier 2. This time I picked the T2 light tank, which was only ever a prototype designed for the US military, which was also based on another prototype. Its only actual use was being repurposed into the M2A2, which did get used. Why was it never built? Probably because it sucked major <laughs> ass. I died almost immediately to the M2 light, which is literally what it was supposed to be. M2A2. Fuck. Tier 3 went, uh, pretty bad. Please. Please. Turn! No! Fuck! I almost got one. Well, like, tier P. <laughs> tier 4. This time- I like that he doesn't try again. That he, like, doesn't- He doesn't make another attempt to, like, with this tank. He's like, alright, just gotta get through all of them. As soon as I die, go to the next one. And I selected a much better tank. This- Uh... Sturmgeschütz? Sturmgeschütz? Sturmgeschütz. Sturmgeschütz. Yes? Sturmgeschütz. That's what I'm going with. Sturmgeschütz. Sturmgeschütz! Hey! I was, was very close! On the battlefield to assist infantry units, but eventually they realized it was also really good at doing this. <laughs> Saint! I'm going wow. to penetrate this man. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. oh my god, yes! Alright. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> that 
It's fucking seven. <laughs> oh my god, he's almost dead. No. No, he's on six HP. He was he was too powerful. He was too strong. He had to be stopped. Pretty decent, I guess. Tier five. I managed to find another Stug. The German army actually Stug. produced a ton of different Stug designs throughout World War II. The difference between this one and the last one is really nuanced, but basically this one is better and they used it a lot more. I wasn't able to absolutely annihilate my enemies like in tier 4 since they're a bit stronger now too, but I still got two kills. Boosh! Win. Which for me is good enough. Tier yeah, I'll take that too. I would've take that. That would be fine for me. Tier 6. Gentlemen, is there anything interesting in tier 6? Wait a second. Tier 6? I'm pretty sure the Tog is tier 6. It is. Oh my god. It's Tog time. Just looking tog, at tog, it, tog. you can tell that the Tog is a very heavy. I like that, like, the little container on the top, on the top of it looks like a little coffin. They're just like, did they do that on purpose? Did they design this little thing with the flag on it up here? I don't, like, I don't know where the people go into it. The little porthole, whatever. I don't know. What, what is this called? Anyway, it looks like a little coffin with dice on the side or braille or something. FD boy. But to be a bit more specific, the TOG weighs 80 fucking tons, which gives it a top speed of 8 god blessed American miles an hour. Wow. Ah, <laughs> good, good. I was just trying to think, I think Spider-Man can lift 70 tons, so I don't think he'd be able to lift this one, right? It's too bad. We finally found the reach of Spider-Man's powers. This thing is slow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You best believe crawling. when I get there, they will have hell to pay. <laughs> The tank was designed for use in World War II, and still manages to be slower than the World War I Street piece of shit at the beginning of the video. Needless to say, using it on the battlefield against a bunch of non-80 fuckton tanks was pretty miserable. Uh-oh. <laughs> I cannot- I cannot dodge that. It has a shit ton of health, but it's so slow you can't dodge anything, so uh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna die. But, before we move but on to tier 7, I have not one, but two bonus tanks to tell you about. First, the OI, which is apparently the widest tank in the entire game, which uh, checks out. And also has the most powerful gun in all of tier 6. I started the match by taking a highly tactical bathroom break. Uh, um, yeah. I meant to do that. That was uh, it's a flanking maneuver actually, yep. Uh huh. But because of the insane firepower, I still managed to get in there and nab a few juicy ones. And the second bonus tank is everyone's favorite. The Dicker Max, which some of you the may Dicker recognize Max. from uh, something else, I guess. And just like in that other thing, the Dicker I don't know if I've seen that video. I don't remember. I've seen a lot of his recent videos. I'll have to look it up. Dicker Max brings true peak performance. Zero kill. And like, three successful hits. <sighs> Turns out maximum dick is not a good strategy. Who'd have thought? Aw, boo. Um, before he goes on to his first, second bonus tank, I've got a bonus for you all as well. We have merch now um, in the form of shot glasses. So here's the Chicago Reacts one. Ignore that the light bouncing off my fingers makes them green. Uh, we got Chicago Reacts. We've got one for Americans Learn as well. Lovely in blue. Um, we have the Chicanime, the anime channel shot glass and we've got one for me look it says bartender and it's different so that is our set of shot glasses it's very fun and exciting so if you can help i want to help support the channel and also take a shot with me at some point the link is in the description below now we'll continue okay. yeah Tier 7. I've been playing a lot of heavy tanks so far, so let's mix it up a bit. I chose the T-71 CMCD, which according to the wiki is so fast that it can drift. Which Ooh. really is not what you want in a tank. Evidently, uh, yeah, it was too- that's true. That is true. I was excited for a second, then I was like, oh yeah, he's right. <laughs> that's not what you want in a tank. Fast for me because I got fucking obliterated. So I swapped it out for the T-71 DA, which worked great. I managed to get two whole entire kills. I got him. Hooray! Hooray! Wee! I just destroyed my tracks. That's an epic one. Ignore the tank pulling up right next to you. I think we win two kills. Oh, good. Good hiding job. Just creep into the brush. We take that. Jod jamming. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Tier 8. I picked the Object 703 version 2, which, I mean... 
come on, it speaks for itself. Two guns built for maximum firepower. In real life, never made it past the blueprint stage. But we're gonna forget that because it looks so cool, and thus it must be a perfect killing machine. Yep. Right? That's how that works. I got one kill. Yep. What? Tragic. But I mean, better than some of his other runs, though. There are several runs out there where he didn't get any kills at all before he got destroyed. What? Is that? Oh my god. Is that the bonus tank music? I think it's time we call on the Roman Empire. Okay. Zion, the most powerful vehicle <laughs> ever built. <laughs> this is obviously not a real tank. Well, it no. kind of is. It's actually just a Progetto m 46 with ABS. I, with abs, not ABS. 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 With abs. abs. <laughs> I look like such a fucking Dorbus. <laughs> Everyone else in their very normal looking tanks, and then me, soldier of the Roman army. <laughs> fucking goddammit. Leave! Bro, come on, man. I haven't seen anyone. This is so unfair. I mean, he can go on, like, ice or water or whatever that is, though. That's pretty badass. Fuck! Shit! The Roman Empire has fallen. I got zero kills and died. So, uh, moving on. Tier 9 and 10. I picked the two goofiest okay. tanks I could possibly find. The Flat Fock and the... Both of which proved to be absolutely terrible in battle. I got rolled and smoked like a fine stogie in both tiers. Listen, tier 9 and 10 are where all the gamer goons are anyway, so it was bound to happen. That's... <laughs> all right. I like that he's got a built-in excuse. <laughs> yeah, it's where all the good players are anyway. We've reached the final tier. It's time for the secret, far more devious, question mark tier. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I do this? I think I can. <laughs> I have no idea what these are. But let's do it. What is this? Stop it. Oh, it's like a bunch versus one of those big boys. This mode is asynchronous, meaning that one team you have this really big mega tank playing alone, and on the other team you have a bunch of small tanks trying to take it down. Okay, interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. What tier is this? It doesn't even say. Does everyone have access to this, or is this like a higher tier? Oh, that's fun. It's like a secret tier. It's a secret secret. It won't even tell you what it is. It's tier 15, but no one will tell you that. Only thing. Am I about to just get stomped? The mode is actually time limited, so by the time you're watching this, <laughs> it's probably gone. L. 32,000 health. Good lord. I want to shoot it. I want to shoot it. I did 32 damage to it? What? Oh my god. That is the worst thing to see. Like, if you're, if you're like in a... D, D campaign or whatever against a creature and you've got like 50 health and they have got like a hundred or something and you know that it's like and it's like i've i've had games or whatever like i'll like 25 damage you know um and they're like yep they're still fine i'm like but, but 25 damage that's half my day that's half of my hp I can do 25 damage in a single roll and they are fine. And yet they also have the capability to do like 20 damage. And it's like, oh my God, terrifying. 32,000 health. Yeah, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'll just submit, I guess, bye. Like, you're my overlord now. <laughs> <laughs> now it's basically pointless to shoot the mega tank while the shields are up. <laughs> the real objective is to take down one of the generators so the shields stop, and then you can go in and blow that fucker up. That's crazy, Thanks. it's like 30,000 health, that's ridiculous. So I could play as that. Oh my god, he's coming. I need to leave. Oh, I see. I can repair myself. That's cool. All the tanks in this mode have special- I wonder if you could have done that the whole time and just- didn't do it. The abilities, like repairing or putting up a safety bubble. Oh, okay. These are really No, it didn't. Okay, so he answered it right away. Didn't we have a rule at one point where it's like you take a drink if ever I uh, ask a question or make a statement and then they answer it in the next 30 seconds? That used to be a rule, I think. Important for getting in close to dump as much damage into the mega tank as possible whenever the shields are down. Speaking of, my team took down the shields, which means it's time to rush in. What is this? What's going on here? What is- <laughs> I'm so confused. The shield's d Oh, okay, I see, I see. Alright, I'm going in. Oh god. No. Oh, it sees him! <laughs> no. Ow! Kill! I'm so dead. Yeah. Fuck! I was a little bit slow getting my goofy ass into the fight, so the shields came up and I got obliterated. But, that's actually fine, because you can respawn in this mode. Wait, I get to respawn? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I see. I see how this works. You gotta kill the 
thingos and then yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. gotcha this is interesting gotcha. i really want to play as the as the big guy now the goal of the group team in this mode is to defeat the mega tank before time runs out so when my team failed to do that we lost shit okay i want to play that again that was actually pretty fun for the second game i was hyped to try out the mega tank so i could stomp on some little baby shitheads can i play as it please please yes Unfortunately, I really, really did not get the strategy down on my first try. I see, so I just <laughs> I just bum-rushed them, basically, while the shield's up. I was very tunnel-visioned on attacking enemies, even while my shield was down, which is stupid. They can respawn, Martin. What the fuck are you doing? Obviously, I lost. Very embarrassing. I have the most very powerful shit in the game, and I still, I still fucking lose. <laughs> God damn it. After losing on both sides of the battle, it was pretty clear that I was the problem. So before my next game, I did a little bit of research. There are four tanks to choose from, and two of them are dog shit. So it was basically between the health tank and the bubble tank. But honestly, if you use the bubble effectively, you can really avoid taking very much damage in the first place, so taking the time to heal feels kind of redundant. So I chose the bubble tank, and got into battle. Where was the Blitzkrieger? Nice. But this tank has a shield that I can activate. So if I'm like caught out by it, I can just pop the shield up and then I'm eats. Enemies clear. Maintain proximity to the generator oh shit, the Blitzkrieger's teleporting. Go, 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 go! Actually, no, I'm gonna go for the next... Yeah, I mean, you could go for that, but I think it's smarter to go for the next generator. Okay, I see. I'm just gonna stay near this. I wanna win! Right, I'm sending it. I think that does make me go faster. Wow, I am zooming! Yeah, you are. The enemy shield is restored. Go ahead and overload another generator. I'm sending it. Fun. Wow. I'm liking this game mode quite a bit. Once once it goes down, I'm <laughs> popping the shield and I'm blasting him. He's dead. He's dead. I got him! I get him! Yeah! I won! Victory! Hooray! I played one more game after that and won that one too. Genuinely a really fun game mode. But I digest. <laughs> there are no more tanks. That's all of them. Sorry, ate the rest. Okay, get subscribed. Click the link in the description. Goodbye! He ate the rest of the tanks. I mean, I'm sure they're high in fiber? Protein, maybe? I mean, you need some kind of minerals to live, right? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was fun. Um, uh, I mean, his link is still there. You can still... Oh, there's coffee. I'm looking at his links and stuff. I'm because I usually like the videos after I finish watching them. Um, all right. So there's some kind of coffee, and you can still download World of Tanks if you haven't already. I I don't. I've never played World of Tanks. I would be garbage at it, but it is fun to watch. Like the chaos unfold. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with my um, attempts to remove my lungs uh apologies that it was a little bit loud at times and for what it has done to my voice but thanks for sticking with me i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you all in the next one bye <laughs>